why can't we close the borders of Chicago or the state of Illinois in the first place? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today I bring you an update on the migrant crisis in yet another big city. I've covered New York City extensively and Chicago, and we're right back in Chicago. There was yet another meeting, and the woman was asking, I'm not sure who this was, if it was a city council person, an alderman, or whatever, but the woman was asking a pretty simple question. Hey, why can't we close the borders of Chicago or the state of Illinois? Basically, why must we be a sanctuary city and or state? Is there a capacity limit? At a certain point, can we tell them no more? You can't come here. Well, uh, before we get to the video, I'm going to just kind of try to answer the question before we get to any more details. Um, when you vote for Joe Biden at a 97% rate, 98% rate in your community, when you do that, when you vote for the liberal mayor, Brandon Johnson, at the same or similar rate, when you vote for the governor, what's his name, J.B. Pritzker, all Democrats at a very similar rate, you're going to get this as a result. This is what you get. Now, some may say, hey, ABL, that's insensitive. You're not being very kind to them. Well, what you want me to do? Lie? Get on this platform and just tell you a lie because it makes you feel better? Now, before I go any further into my opinion, let's go ahead and roll the news clip. If you want to see the clip in full, as always, link will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. No marches, no protests. Here it was a scene of jubilation. Oh, look, look at the news out there. They're, they're actually showing how happy and jubilant and excited they were to vote for Joe Biden when he got elected, when he got in office, allegedly. They were in the street celebrating. Scenes like this played out in neighborhoods across the city. As soon as the major network called the race for Joe Biden after he won Pennsylvania, then Nevada, many Chicagoans started celebrating. People ran out of their homes, poured into the streets. They honked horns, danced, popped champagne. We saw people pumping their fists into the air, waving American flags, Biden and Harris flags also. Outside Wrigley Field, Biden supporters flew the Cubs W flag. The former vice president won 82% of the Chicago vote. I wanted to know if there is a capacity limit and what is what is that limit if there is one and what is why can't we close the borders of Chicago or the state of Illinois in the first place? Why can't we close the borders? I don't know if there's a limit. I do know that when you are seeking asylum, you are granted protections from the U.S. to not return. So that is the process that folks are going through when they come here, when they get their interview, and then the Texas governor sends them to Illinois, and specifically Chicago. So they get to come, once they do an interview in Texas, they get to come regardless. Texas says, you're an asylum seeker, you're being persecuted, so yeah, you can leave your country and come here and go wherever not, you want. Not Texas. This, the federal government is the one that does the process around asylum seeking. It is Texas who is making the decision to send them to Chicago. And that, that's what I wanted to know. Can and, we say, no, we won't take anymore? Nah, but see, the thing is, okay, you guys are designated as a sanctuary city and a sanctuary state, I suppose, but definitely a sanctuary city. So, no, you can't say no because you're inviting them. You're 100% inviting them. And by the way, I'm, what I'm watching right now is a YouTube channel called The Hypocrisy Files. Shout out to you guys. This is not um, straight from the news channel. So the beginning clip was not local news doing that. If they did that, that'd be epic. Because it's like, see, this is what you get. Let's keep on going here. It has to come from the federal government. And Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson has announced that the city is facing a more than $500 million budget deficit for 2024. Now, $200 million of that, his office attributes to the growing cost of caring for migrants. For months, NBC5 <laughs> Investigates has been asking city agencies for copies of financial records to better understand where the money has flowed to care for migrants. 
While the city continues to withhold many of the records we've requested, we did obtain contracts and a spreadsheet showing since October the city has spent at least $83 million on this crisis. The bulk of that money, more than $56 million, went to Favorite Staffing, a Kansas-based company whose employees work at the shelters. In response to our requests, the city has so far provided just two invoices, showing how much Favorite staffers are being paid. This invoice from the now-closed shelter at Truman College shows a facility manager made $14,000 in one week. Wow, $14,000. So, you know, at a certain point, it's like, okay, um, some people have a vested interest in this so-called crisis not coming to an end. Uh, again, shout out to the hypocrisy vows. I, I will link to this video in the box. But yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, that's what's happening right now. People in Chicago are like, hey, can we close the borders up? Can we can we do something? It's like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> you guys voted, as they say in the clip right there, 82%. And in the black community specifically in Chicago, even higher, 94, 95, 96, 97 percent, regardless of what color you are, black, white, Puerto Rican, candy stripe, we're living in Chicago. You voted for Joe Biden. I saw all colors, genders, uh, the, the, the orientation, LGBT. I saw everybody out there celebrating. Now, all of a sudden, we got a problem because the policies that you were in favor of in 2020. And recently, in the mayoral election and the governor election, these same policies are now coming back to bite you. And don't get mad at Texas. What's Texas got to do with it? It's a federal government problem. So you want them down there in Texas to keep all the migrants, all 6.4 million of them? No. If you guys voted for Joe Biden and you guys say you want to be a sanctuary city, you want to be a sanctuary state, here you go. Have at it. They should close the border. The lady was right. They should close the border, not just of Illinois and Chicago. They should close the border of the entire USA to stop the problem from happening. You can't say that the border should be open on the southern border, but then close my border. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. If the border is open, then the border is open, and they're going to go wherever they want to go. Even if Greg Abbott was not directing buses of these migrants, quote unquote, to your community, they can get there anyway. There are a lot of migrants in Chicago, a lot of legal immigrants in Chicago. So they're going to go right to the community. Same thing with New York City. Before the so-called migrant crisis, this was an epicenter of migrants, of, of legal immigrants. So you get the illegal immigrants too, the, the illegal aliens as well. Not immigrants. If you're here illegally, you're not an immigrant, you're an illegal alien. But as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to Chicago. I mean, this should be a learning lesson. I mean, we've seen plenty of these videos. We've seen plenty of these uh, responses, angry town halls, questions being asked. We've seen these things. We have not really seen the result to come from it. If you vote the exact same way that you did in all the previous elections from the past 50 to 100 years, the next time, then you deserve it. This is what you're going to get. So I'm not just trying to attack Chicagoans who voted for this nonsense, but my recommendation to you guys is if you don't want this to continue, if you don't want to have the borders of Chicago and the borders of Illinois wide open, then you need to vote for those who are going to close the borders of the entire USA. Because if you don't solve that problem, you're not going to be able to solve your problem. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on the question that was being asked at that meeting, town hall, or whatever? Um, it's obvious to me the person just maybe don't understand what's going on. They don't even understand how the whole thing works. Okay, you voted for Joe Biden. He is the leader of the federal government, leader of the United States. He says, borders wide open. Kamala Harris says the borders are. She does nothing. So the border's wide open, 6.4 million in one year at best, probably 10 million or more, 30 million. Who knows how many people are coming to the country since the border's wide open and they're pretty much getting ushered in. So if that's happening, they're going to come right to your particular city and state. You're a big city, a lot of resources, Democrat run, very liberal, come one, come all, sanctuary city, sanctuary state. Yes, they're going to go there. It doesn't matter if they get put on the Greg Abbott bus or not. They're still going to come 
right to your neck of the woods. And they're going to cause problems and they're going to bring all types of diseases, allegedly, stuff like that. But you got to do with it. This is what you voted for. You got to do with it. And again, if you don't want this, then vote differently next time. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.